Nah. Well, speaking of the COVID, we got to talk about our boy Joe Rogan again. But this time, we're introducing a new character. Okay. A new character. His name's Ethan Klein. Let me tell you something about Ethan Klein. I don't really fuck with him. Who he the does, fuck is Ethan Klein? Ethan Klein is a YouTuber. Okay. He does. He know, must be a famous YouTuber. Super famous. Everyone knows who Ethan Klein is. He did uh, H3H3 Productions, it was called. Okay. He used to do skits back in the day. And he kind of leaned a little right. I'm not going to lie. A little he right. He, he liked to say the N word a lot. No way. <laughs> really? He, and he's popping like that. <laughs> See, this is the same. This is the shit, y'all. And hey, fresh may be racist. They want to call. They can't call me fucking racist when white motherfuckers be getting away with shit like this. Do you think me and T gonna be able to come on here and say cracker this, cracker yeah. that? The but, whole but, podcast, every podcast, or just blurb it out over our whole time and years of being on podcasts and being able to still get the same views and followers? Hell no. Get you going. Fuck you, nigger faggot. I love that I can just say nigger faggot though. Faggot whore. It's a wonderful, it's just a wonderful string of words that really gets you going. Fuck you, nigger faggot. I love that I can just say nigger faggot, though. Wow. Okay, so, Ethan Klein, but he was there. Did the people blow him up? No, they didn't give a fuck. And I'm going to tell you why. Because now he's left-leaning. He's real... You better get COVID vaccines. You better get... Oh, so fuck all the other shit. Oh, yeah, he's off that now. So, but now he likes to do... And this is the problem I have with him. I have a problem is because he always wants to go at Keem, whatever. And I always calls him racist because Keem said nigga back in the day, right? Seems like all these white YouTubers just love saying nigga. Like, and they the get mo- away with it. Why? The- <laughs> I'm just so confused on how they could continue a career of YouTubing. <laughs> yeah. Get paid off this shit for saying this. Yeah. And and what's crazy oh, man, is Ethan is said stuff. the N-word way more, or more recent than... Keem has. Keem has. And don't get me wrong, y'all. It's freedom of speech. Yes, but come on. Mm-mm. This is a racial slur. Yeah. This is him playing around with it, toying with the simple fact mm-hmm. of, oh, I like it. Like he could just do it and no repercussions. Right. So this is what. Oh, so now he's all you know pro Biden, fuck Trump, all left, blah blah blah, blah bullshit. So he goes at Joe Rogan. <clears throat> now, for the most part, we kind of agree with them in some things, like the. Uh, not Joe Rogan, Ethan Klein, I'm okay. going to say, on his side of it, because it's like you tried to be a tough guy about the COVID, fuck the vaccine shit. Right. And then when you got COVID, you ran and took horse the dewormer. No. Oh, the horse? Yeah. So it's like you're a dumb nigga bitch. Just like the roaster. Right. I guess the warrant. The- so what is... Okay. I don't want to fully cut you out, but is that horse... We talked about it. Was the horse... Even- we don't know, right? We don't what? know if it's got some horse in it. No, oh my God, no! It's for worms, bro. To deworm them if they ate something and got worms. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I kind of get it at that point. Okay. If you're taking horse dewormer, you might as well just get the fucking vaccine. So horse is just the name they threw on it. Yeah. So, so it's not he, actually from horse. It's fucking for a horse. It's dewormer for a horse. But people are taking it, so I'm saying. I don't know why they're doing yeah, it. Yeah, that's some that, like that's what I'm. Confused. You might as well get the vaccine. At I'm that confused. Point. Yeah, right. I that's what I'm saying. Like, so sound like it's for horse, but Joe okay. Rogan said that on his podcast, like the number one podcast in the world. Ethan's okay. got he's got a podcast too. It's pretty good. Or no, no, no. The views are pretty good. The podcast is shit. Yeah. Some things is kind of funny, whatever. But okay, so Joe said in his podcast that being overweight. Increases your chance of getting the uh, COVID, whatever, unhealthy. How? I don't know how, but it kind of makes sense. Being a, uh, like unhealthy person, more successful. Like, sus- uh. no, it makes no sense, bro. For the simple fact, as we know, or whatever the case may be, COVID is getting it from a person who actually has it, or just being around a lot of group of people. If you're no, fat no, I, no. and you're <laughs> at home alone no, I'm and you're stanking and don't wash up. That don't mean you're going to fucking get COVID. No, no. I'm just saying that unhealthy, it'll kill you. Like, when you get it because you can't breathe, you might be overweight. Well, maybe That's what I'm saying. Like, so. Okay. I don't know. I'm just saying once you get it. Okay. So I can kind of see what he means by that. 
Well, Whatever. Ethan went on a fucking rampage today. <laughs> and he tweeted out, Joe Rogan, who lives on elk meat, egg yolk, and human growth hormone with lungs full of tar, <laughs> thinks he's Damn. healthier than any everyone. This motherfucker is such a bitch that when he got COVID, he threw the kitchen sink at it. If you're so healthy, just ride it out like you say a man should. Which he's right. right. Should have kept that same energy. He didn't nah, keep definitely. the same energy. Mm-hmm. He said, dude... Dude has caused so much vaccine hesitancy and misinformation, and he doesn't even have the balls to stand by the shit he preaches. Now he's on his show talking about how fat people should die, just die of COVID. <clears throat> Dude is such a fucking piece of shit. Instead of getting vaccinated, he takes uh, Ragnarin, an experimental drug that... What is it? Oh, experimental drug that... Uh, where is it? That was developed alongside the mRNA vaccines. His logic makes no sense. And then he credits ivermectin, uh, which does fucking nothing for COVID, which, of course, fuck off. Stop taking ivermectin. What the fuck is that? That's the horse twinkle or oh, horse dewormer, bro. How many bro? names it got for the motherfucker? Just one. Horse dewormer, horse ivermectin, dewormer. I don't know. Ivermectin, but it's horse dewormer. Not to mention whatever the fuck is in the alpha brain. Meanwhile, uh, while Joe is on Big Pharma conspiracy against vaccines, someone needs to ask him who makes ivermectin and all the other shit he took for COVID. So, one on a tirade about this fucking overweight shit, which uh, that was reported, like, for all. I don't know. It's, it's kind of, I don't know. I feel like people come up with so much different shit. So I want to give an said. excuse or a reason why people may get certain shit. At the end of the day, some people can't stand us, right? A lot of people got to work. They got to go out. They got to yeah. grocery shop. Right. A lot of shit, right? My thing is, if you don't have to go out, don't go out. People who want to be party and this and that. And if you're a fat motherfucker and you feel like you don't want to Uber eat this and that, you want to go out and buy your own food, it's your purpose of getting COVID, right? You don't want to wear a mask. Some people feel like, oh, I don't want to wear a mask. Yeah. This is the type of reasons people get COVID. Not because you're fat and unhealthy. Unhealthy no. has nothing to do with getting COVID. There's crackheads. There's homeless people who live on the street who's not getting COVID. How do you know? Bro, they're still out here. I don't know if they're getting well, You don't keep no, fucking telling on them. What I'm saying is people who are unhealthy. And I'm saying that's what I'm getting at. They're unhealthy. These motherfuckers still buying crack. They still moving along. They still fucking shoveling in driveways. You think they ain't never get COVID? No, they ate it up. They listen, ate some crack. Listen. My thing is, is if you're <laughs> out here, Look, if you're out here and you're out in the public, yes, you can get COVID. But being fat and unhealthy has nothing to do with being easier catching the shit. I yeah. don't think so. I don't think being unhealthy is giving you easier access no, to catch the COVID. No, just once you stupid. get COVID... Once you, you get it, okay. That's what I'm saying. Oh, once you once get it, you is what get y'all COVID, saying. It, you, being unhealthy. It, Honestly, I feel like being unhealthy will make you be more of a survivor. Why? Oh, let me just uh, let me explain. God. Yeah, let me hear. let me explain. Because you have so much bullshit going on mm. that that COVID, your your body already surviving the bullshit, right? So once the COVID oh, enters, your little white blood Shut cells, you know what they doing? So tell it to a. Uh, you know what they doing? They just eating that bitch up. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, and they bark bro, like that too, bro. So tell them. All fucking, I'm saying is, all, with I'm, lung listen, all I'm saying is, I'm not saying because you have lung listen, cancer, wait, COVID wait. goes in. I'm not <laughs> saying it's not true, and I'm saying I'm not saying it didn't happen. So that's, uh, all I'm saying is, I with my own eyes, I seen crackheads, homeless people, yeah. in my own city, yeah, walking around doing the same shit they've been doing every single day since COVID started, right? Mm. Every day, just about. And I can only imagine they've been everywhere in the town where yeah. COVID was at, right? They didn't touch everything. They don't got hand sensitive. They're not doing all that, right? They didn't maybe. touch every. No, fuck all that. We're going to be in reality. No, ain't no maybe. There might be a maybe. No, ain't no maybe. If they They're go homeless. Into a bathroom. They're standing outside the gas station, liquor stores, the whole yeah. nine. They get money from everybody. They're touching different hands. This yeah. is, they're doing all type of stuff. They're surviving. Mm-hmm. You think it's Chilling cooking? and willing. Yeah. Don't give me no bullshit talking about if you're fat and healthy that you're going to get COVID. But how do you know they're not getting COVID? 
Bro, what I'm saying is, if they're able to get COVID and yeah. still out here to ask for money. But you don't know if they got it, though. No, that's my thing. They're more a possibility to get it than a yeah, fat, unhealthy but, motherfucker. But How? Would, Come on. You got to think about a person who's. You keep a, talking about getting. I'm saying it's already have got. They've gotten it. And I'm saying if they got it, which I can only imagine. Of course, some of them got to have it. They out here all day. Yeah, it's just easier always. for them to got it. To get it, right? Yeah. They out here all day. Of course but they're going to get it. I'm talking about fat people. You keep bringing them to homeless people. I'm talking about someone that's 650 pounds. Right. That's on a fucking right, breathing machine. Right, who goes machine. nowhere? How Irrelevant. did get it? I, it doesn't matter I how they get it. I just want to know how he got it first. <laughs> someone brought it to him. Someone that was outside brings Maybe the, the nurse. And he yeah, can't leave okay. the house. Yeah, it doesn't Could be matter. the nurse. 650 pound slob that mm-hmm. can barely fucking breathe already. He's on a machine. Gets COVID that attacks the lungs. Right. She's probably going to die because her lungs are already working at fucking Right, right. Okay, that's different. That's, that's different. that's what I'm right. talking right. about the okay. whole time. Okay. I'm just saying, it's just, I, all I was just trying to get at is, is people who's getting it, I feel like, who's around other and they surviving through it. So, and when you, I was just saying the unhealthy part. The fat part, being in the house, already being fat, you already fu- closing up your lungs some way, obviously, because the fat tissue is just fucking with your shit, and that's just reality of life, right? We know that. The reality of life. Yeah, because yeah. you know you're big, you, you, you closing up your tissue, you fucking them up, you suffocating. Them. All right. I ain't a scientist, Doc, but... Yeah, yeah, Dr. Yeah. Fresh over here telling yeah. us about capillaries getting crushed by fucking fat. I mean, little, yeah, that's what I'm all saying. Right, go ahead, let me hear it. You know what I mean? All I'm saying is, bam, that's what it is. Okay, <laughs> all right, cool. Well, <laughs> bam, that's what it is. Um, So, to bring it all home... <laughs> we was home. going in on I know, right? Let's right. go in Because I hate... Not you, White because people? you didn't say it. He said, I know I just hate when people just try to be like, oh, this is a fact. It's so much shit that could just never be a fact. You know what I mean? It could be a possibility. No, all I'm saying is it could be a possibility. It could be a possibility that, yes, you overweight and you get COVID, and it's a possibility that you more of a chance of dying because you are already there that can breathe. Yes. But. Then you gotta think about how many fat people just just go through so much food and survive longer right, than right, now, now, survive okay. longer but than point, a skinny motherfucker who got COVID. So but, do you I'm think saying, he should have been mad? Is what I want to ask, bro. Do you think he should have been this mad to tweet no, because the man said no. that fat people may get COVID? No, I think I, know, I don't think he should have been that mad. Which I, we all have to go off of this. I didn't even hear what this guy said about it. I don't even really know what he said. Me either. And nobody online I has just, this clip but of bro, what he know really me. said. Some of the followers know me. I just hate when a motherfucker go in on a person or persons. Mm. You know me, right? Oh, I do. I back my people up, regardless if I even agree with the shit. Because I don't agree with obesity. I don't. You know what I mean? I agree with, yes, having enough food to fill your stomach. But I don't agree with obesity. But if it happens, hey, I'm going to still be a nice person to you. But all I'm saying is, you know, Fresh, I backs the people up. And you ain't about to talk shit about a group of people without me having to say so. Yeah. And that's how I play. I'm trying to find the... There's no way I can find this. This is fucking three hours long. The way we tried to get... We had data showing... I got a story. External affairs. What you looking for? Of this hospital in Maui. Through those, it's fascinating stuff if you're into this. Okay. Um, okay. Fuck it. I can't find it. I got something for us. Well, I wanted to tell you. Tell me. Why I don't like Ethan Klein again. Oh, said okay. Yeah. Why we still on Because we were talking about right, right. the N word thing. I don't like him already because of that. Because he. Never heard of him. But also, when my boy brought it to me, it's because of that and how he said it. He, he said it with enjoyment. He said, I. Yeah, I like the fact that I could just say blase blase like, okay, cool. Yes, you can say it. All right. Because like I remember I told you, us in life, people in life, we could do and say whatever we want in life. Literally. Yeah. But we also have to know there's consequence. There's yeah. things that happens after the fact. There's things that may, you know what I mean? There's yeah. just, that's just like. So with him. Just taking advantage of the simple fact to where you could just do whatever you want mm-hmm. and then no repercussions. That got me a little upset. Well, and he said, I just don't and like and the guy. he's Jewish, 
right? Don't so he matter gets, if no, he was no, Jewish. I got a point. I'm telling you. I'm saying he's and mean? he's Jewish, so now he gets offended if anybody makes Jewish jokes. Oh, okay. But and that's what I was like, well, well that's kind of weird because you said all this and it was all ha ha. Another dude, a mentally ill black dude. If I find the clip, I'll put it right here. He made a fucking joke about him. He was calling him a nigga in this fucking video. Like he was like, Oh, look at this nigga. Mentally do mentally ill black dude with no, a diaper. Well, I, on, okay. Because you know what's so crazy? Cause I understand why he feel like he could say it. Because it's normal, right? It's normal to think and to also know. Fuck I think to it's normal to know. Yes, we can literally say what we want. Like literally, bro, you have to be the type of person where who has no filter, right? Charleston, the Charleston yeah. nigga. I know you heard of him. Charleston, he talks shit about everybody. Charleston White. Yes, he he said fuck Nipsey Hussle the whole night, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. exactly like them and the other, like how the other, what's his name again? Who we talking about? Ethan Klein. Same way, yes, guys, yes, people. We can literally say whatever we want. We are entitled to that. This is our entitlement. I don't want nobody to feel like nobody can take it away. And I don't want you to feel like you want to bite your tongue because of how other people feel. If you feel some type of way, say it, speak it, let you be you. But yes, there's consequence. Mm -hmm. These people who speak that way, they feel like they're untouchable, right? I guess. You know what I mean? I no, mean, not in a guess. I mean, I, I... No, that's just exactly what it is. It's not a guess, bro. You can't guess that because when you speak this way, you have to understand that anytime you're in public or in, something bad can happen to you because you got to understand people's reactions, right? Yeah. So, not a guess. It's a, it's, a, it's a yes to where it's like they can say whatever they want but not care about the consequence because they feel like, I'm ready to die about it. I'm ready to... Go. I'm ready to go to jail about it. Whatever. I don't care. I'm going to speak how I feel. And if you got a problem, come to me. Let's handle it however it's going to be handled. And I don't. the consequences don't mean shit to me. Yeah. These are these type people. Well, I just don't like the flip-flop. Because I've seen them go after and try to cancel a lot of people that made no, you jokes. Like the, I don't like the, the shit. I don't that. like how the world runs. We want to cancel the baby. We well, want to cancel. Yeah. Wait, wait. That's, no, bro, it ain't no yeah, yeah. How? Yeah, I mean, he, we're all in the same. This is what I'm saying. Do you feel like we should have canceled this dude? Even now, Clark, if we don't, yeah, that's my question to you. I mean, the yes way, if no. they're running on the same rules no, that they're doing yes now, no. you then were yeah, so, I guess. You were so yeah, yeah about the baby. Are you willing? I, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, wait, wait. Whoa, I'm just answering a whoa, question. Whoa, whoa. Well, I'm not with cancel culture at all. But if it's happening, I'm going to comment on okay. it and say, All well, I'm saying I can kind of see you, why it Okay, happened. if we were canceling this guy, Okay, I would say it? no. I would I would even, after he said that shit, I still... He's now, done worse, though. would you cancel the baby? I wouldn't want to cancel him, no. But okay, if he's okay, being wait, canceled... I'm just getting understanding now. All right. This is more understanding. I, yeah, this is more I'm of understanding than anybody. it is me asking you a question. Okay, right. now are you willing to cancel Boosie? Oh yeah, you get that motherfucker the fuck See, out. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Okay, I told now, you, I'm now, not me, with, now, okay, wait. Now, I don't bro, know what this I point now, you're trying I'm to make. No, because me, you, you are getting an understanding of all each right, other. Let me hear. This is all. This is how. This is people. Y'all looking at what it is. This is conversation. This is how people understand things. This is how we can get on the same page. Right. This is a prime example. Me thinking T or Sly want to cancel the baby or Boosie. Me not knowing he don't. He don't care about the cancellation. He just feels some type of way about what they did and said. Yeah. That's why now that me and him get on the understanding, it's a it's a whole different thing. I can't ask you these questions. I'm thinking because only reason I ask you these questions is because I'm thinking you just want to cancel them two no, boys because of their actions. No, 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 and they, no. And, they, and do you agree they fit? He fit in the same category as. Yeah, him? yeah, yeah. Okay, so if he good. was getting canceled, I can see why. Now, prime example for life and people. Look how easy that was me and you got on the perfect same page. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to kill each other. No. We didn't have to go back and forth talking shit. See how we just yeah. easily... Well, I'm, I'm, I don't no, but agree. You see how easily yeah. we just got to understand each other? Mm -hmm. This is what we need to do in life, y'all. I didn't go call him a hoe nigga or <laughs> well, another... Come no, on, Fred. No, I mean, he just said it. Come on. Did you just no, put that in our video or no? I gotta edit that out. Now I gotta search Did you through. put that in our video or no? I had to. So he said it, but, but I can't you, say no, it. No, 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 Whoa. no. I know. 
Yeah. That's how it, why, why, why are we going to do like bad? That? Just, all right, so nigga shoots a gun. We got to shoot a gun too? No, no, what I'm saying is it was more of an example for me saying it. Is that, I don't want to no, be bad No, I'm not like saying, that. no, but people understand shit. It's not about how you feel. It's about me explaining an example and why I said the word, right? I ain't saying it out of regular context. It's like, oh, nigga. Bro, I'm saying it in example context. Know, so what I'm bringing this up to you is when I say certain shit, I'm only saying it because we just watched the video and it's our conversation. All right, I know so, why you said it. I don't but know I'm just why saying, you did. Don't fucking say it. I don't want to be. I don't want to say that word. Or no, word. we're Especially not. Because, it's not listen. us saying it. We can never be saying. Oh, look how they talking. No, it was more so I'm saying what somebody else said. But it wasn't also, just coming out my mouth because I wanted to say. It. Oh, wait, wait, what were you? Bisexual? No, a lesbian. I don't want you to say. It. Remember, you like, yeah, right. But <laughs> I don't want I'm you to say it. Is, man. All I'm saying is, it's just this is how the world is, man. People cancel who they want to cancel. It's crazy how they let certain people get away with certain shit. And he's canceled people before on YouTube, and it, it's like so big wild. YouTubers. He's life is he's got the life, fuck life out is here. so full of bandwagons, right? Yeah, you got people riding so many different waves. People believe in so many different things. It's like, for a chance, have your own mindset on situations. Have your own p- thought of it. B- gather your own information. Fuck, get, see what people talking about from here or there. Put it all together and think what you think before you just ride a wave that makes no sense. Mm-hmm. Or ride a wave that's doing the same shit you went against. That's what blows my mind when people just... They blow up against the baby, this and that. But then y'all ride with the nigger. Salad guy. <laughs> you ride with the, the nigger faggot guy the oh who, who says God, that. stop. Right? No, because this is the reality of life. This is not no, oh, damn, fresh said this wrong. No, it's the reality of Chill, our situation bro. and of our what we live in it. People just don't understand certain things. They just go with the flow. He said what he say. Hey, mm, he... But the baby, he's like, oh, no AIDS, this and that. Y'all bro, go crazy. Bro. Yes, bro. People go I'm crazy. Tell you but wait. But my boy say racial slurs. Yeah. And it's, hey, we going to bypass that. Fuck all that. Bro. Oh, that ain't bad. Bro, he damn near wished them bro, to die, stop son. It. That, stop I'm it. saying this is bad, stop too. Stop it. We had, listen, we gonna, we, if you want to take it back, we take it back to 540, whatever years ago, slavery, this and that. Oh, stop. Stop. Bro, his stop. racial slurs could take it there. But no, I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be like, oh, but what about slavery? And they like, oh, you bringing up old shit. Know, Shut I the fuck it. up. Social <laughs> media is fucked, dog. And I'm going to just tell y'all that now. Either you know right or you know fucking wrong. And it's just that simple. It's like, read between the lines. Either you right or you fucking wrong. Don't give nobody a pass. because you fuck. T, my boy. I'm not going to give him a pass for coming on the cast for saying cracker this, cracker that. He's not going to do the same for me either. So if y'all fucking with a, if y'all subscribe to a YouTuber who do this type of shit, once they go get some shit you don't fuck with, you should just cancel them as of what it is. If you want to go cancel a motherfucker for the gay community for saying this and that, like it's crazy to me. It's wild as hell to me. If not cancel, figure out a different way. Let's say, you know what I mean. Let's have a conversation. Do you know well, you can't say cracker no more? Why not? They have uh, cracker. Is now the white people are claiming a racial slur and they are people on Twitch are getting canceled. You know for why? You cracker. know why they doing that, right? Why is they doing that, T? Because you smart, you a smart guy. Tell I know me. why. I know why they're why, doing it. Why are you doing? Why they? Why you? They don't give a fuck that? about the word. They're just trying to make a big My deal out of fucking point, nothing you know because they can't say nigga. So they might think about this. Black lives matter. All this other shit, right? They feel like we was getting too much attention, right? They don't like that. Racist people I'm only talking about. I'm not talking about just an average white person. I'm not talking about you. I like you. You're my friend. We all good. I'm talking about a racist motherfucker. They white. didn't like the attention Black Lives Matter was getting. They didn't yeah. like that white people was actually putting up these signs, having them in their grass, all this other shit. They didn't like that. So... <laughs> They hate that. They're attention seekers. These is like the Karens and Darrens. Like the the, the people who are tick, uh, attention seekers, the people that want all the attention from the world. So what they do? We got to bring up some shit that way. 
where we are feel bad. We don't feel bad because we got crackers at the store, all type of shit. But guess what? You can't go buy a nigger at the store. <laughs> But you can go buy crackers at the store. No, oh, so it's not so racist. What I'm, saying, you can buy no, what I'm saying is they just want to have something to talk about. Black people, when we speak on our behalf, we actually have things to complain about. We actually have things to complain about. You speak about, oh, we can't say the word cracker. I want to go get a box of crackers for my chili. No, How yeah, about right. that? You know, well, you, you can't say I want to go get Fuck a box you. of niggers. Uh, that, this is the that would be crazy. Read between the lines, people, and this is the thing. That's like, the type. We, it seems like we can't have none. Black people can't have none without the white people trying to take away from it. Racist white people. I don't, don't understand the allure of saying nigga, man. It's one like there's Jeez. so many words out there, and why? And, and these then you got to think about how many it. white people love to say it. They just want to say it so bad. Like I seen a drunk white boy on a video. He outside of a gas station. So yeah, I nigga to some black nigga. Some black they, niggas. And you're in the wrong if you hit him. Exactly. And you know what? And I respect white boys. Listen, words. I respect the black dude because we don't have to react all the time. No. Y'all. He said that, just keep pushing. You know what he did? He said, yeah. He said, man, you need to watch your mouth, man. He just walked off. He didn't get all yeah. angry. He, he did what he was supposed to because why even get yourself out of the comfort zone? At the end of the day, it's all words, right? Because it seems yeah, like well, nowadays we want to kill each other for words. Yes, words are disrespectful. But I don't want to fully, like, kill you. I don't want to, like, dead you. I may want to beat you up as far as it gets. But I don't want to fully end your nah, whole life. Nah, nah. I don't want to take your breath, your beat of a heart. I don't want to take that. I just want to just shut you up for a second. And once you get beat up, then you learn a lesson as far as I think. You may not still learn a lesson, but that's just all I want to do. And if the world can just fight and just be bruised up and that'd be that, damn, this would be a good life. If we could just <laughs> beat each other up. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, would be yeah. like a great life. I think God would just like it even more. I think we had stopped having snowstorms, like all the, like, rain, like tornadoes. I think God would treat us a little different. You know? If you stop shooting But each once other? we all out here doing all this bullshit, yeah. then you know what I mean? Come on, man. <laughs> Guns is only for barren irons for stupid people trying to break in your house. How does this have anything to do with cracker? I wanted to talk about cracker being fucking how. Oh in no, the world. that's what it lead to. That's what I'm saying. That's why it does. That's why it, it's beneficial to the word <laughs> in our conversation. It's not just I'm speaking on some relevant shit. No, I'm speaking of relevancy because that's where it start. Crack. Because you got to think. You might call him motherfucker cracker, then he say. Nah. And now you react and you're fighting, you might have a bill. I don't know. He might threaten to kill you or hang right, you. I right, don't you know right. they get you know they get a little outrageous. They do I don't some. wanna I don't wanna act like white people don't do this heavy. And I don't want you to act like they ain't gonna say some crazy shit that's gonna get some people to just wild out. Like I said before cast, everybody not gonna be smooth and cool like me and you are. Mm. We not gonna try to wait till almost a nigga put our hand, his hands on us. People gonna react off them words, and as soon yeah. as you say a couple words, it get, it get really bloody. I think I've get bad. seen it get bad, bro. Oh my! Let me tell you. Let me tell you one time. I was at this bar, right? Knew I knew I shouldn't even been there yeah. because it's a uh, hick white. Why the fuck am I here? Hick yeah. white? Yeah. Didn't know that. Yeah, there. I walk in there, right? <clears throat> Dark as fuck. I'm with my girl's family. Group of white people. I'm like, oh, man, look. There goes the neighborhood in the bar. No fucking way. No fucking way. Yo. I ain't gonna lie. They funny as fuck. Yo. They, so, Yo. they are calm going as hell because how do you think of this shit? <laughs> Bro, okay, continue. Because, whoa. So, <laughs> Woo. so I hear it, obviously. Right, of course. But, you, <laughs> son, first of all, I'm by myself. I'm a lonely nigga, right? I got my girl's family here. Am I trying to be you know, a yeah. Yeah, be, be what they be, want you yeah. to be? So, <laughs> I'm like, all right. So I text my dog. I'm like, yo, man, this, yeah. this motherfucking cracker's trick, tripping. Come, come through here. Right. right. So... They start yelling something else, like a bunch of other shit. 
And then I had this like velour jacket on, right? right. So they had it like, well, Puff Daddy's like, no. Son, they were going off. <laughs> so I walked out. Puff Daddy. <laughs> so I walked out. They are the fucking fires. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, cause I don't even be a thick of shit like that. Yeah. If I'm like talking shit to a white motherfucker, I ain't gonna be the uh, I don't know what to call mm-hmm. him, you know? Mm-hmm. But keep going. So I walk the fuck out, tell my girl we're leaving, let's go. Get out of here. My boy shows up. He's like, yo, man, what's up? I'm like, we're just getting the fuck out of here. We're going right. somewhere else. I'm done with this bullshit because I'm not starting right. no shit. Right. There's like eight of them. There's two of me. Well, not two of me. Me and my dog. <laughs> <laughs> not okay. me. Yeah, to clone you. myself. Got my clone What's on. What's wrong? But anyway, right. so go to a different bar. This people surrounded by people I know. Cool. Right. The motherfuckers from that one show up. No way. That They're was at t- that motherfucker. But was it like close proximity? Oh yeah, because I turn oh, around. I'm like, oh, these. It? No, but I'm now saying I- is it close? Like the bar from the other bar? It's not that far from each other. Nah, it's not that far. Okay. So he, they're there now. They probably apologize. Nah, I don't know. Because now I got the gang with me because everyone's there. Right. We walk up. <laughs> I don't say nothing. No, no words are exchanged right. because it's mad of us. We're still in here. And we walk away. I get a call. Apparently, someone from my, like, two people I know and someone from them, they started a fight. It's my cousin that called me. He said, yo, man, I heard what they were saying about you in the bar or whatever. Apparently, they're his friends or whatever. Wow. So now he was like, well, next time they see you, they're going to they're gonna get you a drink, man, because that was wrong. I was like, dog. So do I it make it sm- right? Yeah, no, I'm like. A drink ain't going to do shit. No. But all you got to know is their actual person is racist. Yeah, super racist. Point by very. I'm like, so yo, you're you around me. A drink ain't going to make me feel no better. No. I'm, I'm just accepting. I'm, that means I'm a co- at that point. If I was like, "Oh yeah, it's cool," you can but go. But you know what's so man. wild? Because you see how we feel, right? We feel like okay, a white person who's racist, biased, drink whatever is an insult. Yeah. But do you understand that if a black person buy a white person drink, they will love it. They will love to say like how a nigger did for them. Oh yeah, he oh, just bought my drink. Yeah, he better had. Oh, but you see, the di- only only oh, thing, only reason why spicy. I'm saying this is to make a difference. Most black people, we 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 just not racist. We just it's so hard for us to be racist because we just have no reason to. It's like yeah. no black people was Unless brought you're 5%. up. No black people was really brought up to be really racist, to be honest. You know what I mean? Like no. you said, unless you're a five percenter. But at the end of the day, bro, Shout we just, we are just not like that. We would just not accept the drink. We're not going to say, oh, yeah, you cracker buy my drink. Like, no, we not. That's not our swagger. We're not going to be happy that you bought it. We the don't want swagger. shit from you. We want you away from us and this and that. A white motherfucker going to accept it and feel like we're doing a deed and we're Worshipping them and bowing down, like I don't get it. That's how you know they're just so fucking evil of people. Oh my god, okay, just we're bad. Done. Not stop, all of them. Stop, because they my boys stop. and girls. We're done you know with that. We're done with that. They my See, boys and girls. You take it too far when you start no, talking evil but and you. No, that's the thing though. We should be able to talk about this and be good, not be able to say, "Oh, look at these boys." They right. Re- Bro, that's fucked up. If the white motherfuckers have these conversations, we could too. Don't try to sugarcoat shit, bro. Say, no, no. No, bro. We are speaking on how we feel. I ain't saying nothing bad. Well. I, I'm not saying nothing wrong. Only the real will understand. And the real is understanding. All right. All right. But 